Hey guys, so today I'm making a tag and it's gonna be I'm gonna try to make it super simple. Um I'm gonna use this image and this image was uh I got it in, in a little mail um goodies that I got from one of my friends. So thank you and um I did color really quick. I'm not a great colorer, that's how what you call them. <laughs> um but I try to color it and um that should be fine just for the tag in. My mom's birthday is on November 2nd, which is Day of the Dead, so I'm thinking if I could make this tag, I might be able to make it a tag slash invitation kind of thing for her birthday. Um, I hope she's not watching this because then I spoil the birthday surprise. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to use the image, the tag, and these tags are craft tags and they're size 10. Which means they're like four and a quarter by eight and a quarter or eight and a half. Um, and you can make these. I bought these tags at Tuesday morning. They're like it came with a um, a, a set of ten. But you could easily just cut them from your a regular cardstock paper because the length is eight and a half, and that's the width of the paper. And then you could probably cut two, three, two because yeah, four. <laughs> so. Um, yes, yeah, so I'll be using that. I am going to be using a stencil. I bought this last year, I think, and I never used it. I, I don't know about the sticky stencil. They're just weird <laughs> to me and very um, thin. And then I'm going to be using this Pearl, um, Perfect Pearls Mist in Mandarin color. Um, we'll see how it looks. Then a bit of washi, some texture paste. Um, I'm hoping to use some, um, what is it called? Crepe paper. And, yeah. So, just watch and see what comes up. Um, I'm just going with the flow. I'm just trying to figure something out. I have no idea what I'm doing yet. So, yeah. Keep watching.
Okay, so it didn't turn out as bad as I thought it was gonna turn out. It's kind of kind of okay. Um, you could tell me what you think, but I think it turned out pretty pretty decent. Uh, I think next time I should find better ribbon or find a better way to put them so they stand out. I think I should have done it the other way so this so I could actually have something like covering the ribbon kind of thing. But maybe next time. But yeah, that's what I did. And I think I just need to add a little bit more glue to the doll. That way it doesn't... Oh, my hand's gonna make it all purple now. <laughs> so it doesn't come off. But I think it turned out pretty good. I I am bad with layering and embellishments. I am not that good with putting an that's where they're supposed to be. Or they look good. So it's not the best. But I think it turned out pretty cool. I love, love, love the um, Perfect Pearl Mist. On the back, I made the black pop, and it does have the orange, so that's why I added the that that one. I wasn't sure, but then yeah, it has the orange. Then I love how the gelatos, because it's like a metallic gelato, and it it has glitter, so I think that made it perfect. And it kind of looked pretty with the white, but you know what? When you're trying to do something, you keep adding, and sometimes you make mistakes. Like right now, I just messed that up. I don't know if an eraser will work. Nope. Oh well. Next time I know. But not bad for my first attempt. I wanted to use the crepe paper because I've seen a lot of people use it for different activities and I was like, you know what? Let's use that. Um, yeah. Well guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I know that it was kind of kind of fast. Even though it took me longer. You guys see, saw it pretty fast. <laughs> Um, if there's anything you want me to do or want me to try, because there's stuff that I've never tried, and if you think maybe I should try it, let me know. Comment below, let me know what you think I should try, and maybe that could be one of my next videos. Okay, guys, well, thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!